Hey guys, this is Cyrock Omega, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow with Gift Pokemon Only. And I've been a naughty boy. I recorded the last episode, and then the game kind of screwed up. I'm playing this on Pokemon Stadium 2, you know, plugged into the back of the controller is my Pokemon Yellow card, which goes into the N64. And then Pokemon Stadium was all like, oh, sorry, it got all, like, screwed up. And that was right after I finished the last episode, and I didn't actually save yet. So, all of this I streamed, and I got back to here. But, anyway, here we are, back at Cinnabar, and we're heading into the gym. Let's get started. Yo, champ in the making! The hot-headed Blaine is a fire Pokémon pro! Douses spirits with water! You better take some burn heals! Oh, aren't we a wise guy? Cinnabar Island Pokemon Gym Leader Blaine. It's like Flame, I guess. Winning trainer is Jerry. Freaking Jerry. Always training up the faster than me and beating the guys and stuff. So here we are, we got our first dude, but he doesn't really seem to want to fight us. I could talk to him and we could fight him. Or we could go up to this supercomputer from the 1950s and talk to it. Pokemon Quiz! Get it right, and the door opens to the next room! That voice does not... like my throat. Anyway. Get it wrong, and face the traitor blocking the way! If you want to conserve your Pokémon for the gym leader... Then get it right! Here we go! Or just go back to the Pokémon Center! Caterpie evolves into Butterfree! So I actually had a little bit of a failed recording. I, f I didn't realize that I hadn't started the game capture until, like, halfway through the next Pokemon trainer fight. So I actually know what this answer is. I mean, the thing is that everyone knows what this answer is. If you have never caught a Butterfree, or Caterpie, rather, then what, a what are you doing in this game? So Caterpie evolves into Butterfree, but the thing is, directly, no, it evolves into a Metapod first. It's the same evolution tree thing, but it's not direct. But the answer is actually yes. It's confusing. I think they fixed it in the remakes. You're absolutely correct! Go on through! So yeah, you don't have to fight him, the door opens, but because we're a cool trainer... Wait, not a cool trainer. A trainer that is cool. We want to do the fight anyway because we like the experience, because that's what cool people do. I was a thief, but I became straight as a... Mmm. I don't know what to think about this. So I won't. Okay, so... All these fire guys are gonna be real easy for Testy to take down. Became straight. I... I'm not... I have nothing to say. There's nothing to say about this. Little cr cute little Growlithe. Cute little Growlithe. Testy is gonna wreck shop. This place is gonna be flooded. Yeah, so easy. It's level 36, too. Vulpix. I wonder if any of them are actually going to have any sort of interesting Pokemon. Any that we haven't seen before, maybe. I know that Blaine does. I think. I know that I think I do. This may be a little easy. Now we've got Ninetales. That's actually kind of interesting. I'm pretty sure we've seen them before. Yeah, I mean, I think we saw uh, one trainer in the mansion had one. I actually recorded that episode almost immediately. Oh, it's a quick one. I recorded the previous episode pretty much immediately after the one before it, I think. But I got upset because the game kind of screwed up for me. And so I didn't edit it until like the day before I e I'm recording this one. But, easy enough, anyway. So, three months later, here I am doing this. I surrender! I can't help stealing other people's Pokémon! Then maybe you should go get some help. You know, professional help, and not some riddle guy. So we got another one of these dudes, but... It doesn't look like he has his own door, so I guess we'll just talk to him. This is the guy that I got to and then realized I wasn't recording that last time. Do you know how hot fire Pokemon breath can get? I assume the fire is from their breath. 
So I assuming fire hot? That R wing can stand up to 14,000 degrees! Or something like that, whatever. That's one of my favorite games ever, Star Fox 64, if I ever mentioned that before. So he's got Vulpix. So cute, but so dead. So much like the other guy. What? What is all that stuff that kind of moves across the screen that I guess sometimes doesn't get caught up by the capture? Like, I know that Hydro Pump and Surf have the kind of water pillars that come up, but what is the sort of dusty stuff that moves across the screen? Another Nine Tails. You're only slightly different from the last guy. Um. So what would what would that be? Is that supposed to be the wave? Maybe that's what Surf is supposed to be. I know in later gens they actually have a like a tidal wave animation for it. Oh, hot, hot, hot! Hot, 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 hot! If anyone recognizes where that is from, like, comment, subscribe. Fire, or to be precise, or be bright, more precise, combustion, blah, 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 blah. Thank you for blowing your way out of that. And we can just talk to the guy right now and fight him, but nah, let's, let's do this again. Wait, hold on a second. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. Let me think here, I'm pretty sure there are eight, right? I'm so old. There's, uh, Pewter, Cerulean, Vermilion, Saffron, uh, Fuchsia, Celadon. Mm hmm. No, there are eight. Haha! -ha. You are absolutely correct! Go on through. Does this other one talk? No? It's the same one. Okay. You can't win! I study Pokemon! Wait, was that studiously? I missed it. Uh, violently. Studied violently. I don't want to know how you would violently study something. Oh, a little pony tie, so cute. You're actually a little bit different. And so this is the first recording that I'm doing where I actually have two monitors. This, this setup makes it so much easier. And a Charmander, so nice. So I can actually watch the game, and then I have the capture in the other monitor, and I've also got the audio on the other monitor. It's so nice. I love it. I can't believe I did anything without this. Even just regular stuff on the... Just on the computer is so much easier with this. Level 42. Let's use Vulpix. Sure, we'll switch out. Make it a little bit interesting. Sawamura is next. Not Verdant. You're gonna be able to shine on the next couple videos. Yeah, Sawamura, I haven't seen you in a while. He's probably gonna do just about as well. Hmm, Jump Kick. Jump Kick is the one that's broken in this gen because it's, uh, if you miss, you're supposed to take recoil damage. But here, you only take one damage, so there's no point in not doing it. Nice. Look at that. I can't wait till high jump kick. Where again, I only do one damage myself. He's got no evolved Pokemon. What a loser. Didn't study hard enough. Go back to school. You can buy one at the store. Wow, my studies. I failed you, father. My theories are too complicated for you, so bugger off. So, Poliwag evolves three times! No, nothing evolves three times. You're absolutely correct! Oh, I forgot to move Pokemon. Lapras is all up the front. I just like using fire Pokemon. Guess you're in a good enough place as any, then. What all the burglars do, it would seem. Ponyta. Slightly stronger. Uh, might as well. Ooh. Yeah, of course you're fast. Here it comes. 
fire spin. Super annoying. One of these days, I'll be able to attack you. Mm, any day now. Might be able to get him first. If I had uh, Sawamura out. <sighs> Keeps going. Now I know the pain. This is super broken. Thank you. I'm so glad it missed. Wow. That was wretched. Only I can do that. I'm the player character. You don't know about crappy glitches and stupid bugs. In overpowered strategies. Too hot to handle. Mmm, my throat is getting all... You know, like... Coffee. Alright, let's switch ya. I like having it nice and ordered. I wish there was a thief Pokemon. I'd use that. There has to be... Thief Pokemon. Thief Pokemon. There has to be one. Let me know in the comments if there's a thief Pokemon, and I've only really played first through third gen. You know, first, second, third. Thief Pokemon. Thief. There has to be one. With so many gens, there has to be a thief Pokemon. And I just don't know what it is. Does. Wait, wait, hold on. I mean, there's a thief move in second gen, I know that. Thief. Hmm. Oh well, whatever. Let's we'll keep going. And, uh... Our Thimby moves effectively as ground element type poke- Wait, oh, I didn't mean to press that. Now, of course they aren't, and first of all, electric type. Ground- was that ground type element? Come on, dude. I misclicked, I'm dumb. I was trying to get through it a bit quicker. I, I thought there would be, like, a little bit more in that dialogue. I know why Blaine became a trainer. Cuz he likes fire things. And killing people. And stealing things and being a nerd like all the rest of these guys? I don't know. Rapid Ash, cool. Pretty sure it's the first time we've seen one of these. Looks so intense. So intense! That might be a little bit of a problem. Or not. Critical hit. I wonder if I can sell its horn for anything. Gotta be worth more than a slowpoke tail, right? Blaine was lost in the mountains when a fiery bird Pokemon appeared. Its light enabled Blaine to find his way down. Cool! Okay, let's not screw this up again. Uh, Pokemon that seem kind and level are not identical. True. I'm so embarrassed that I got that one wrong, that other one. I've been to many gyms, but this one is my favorite. Maybe it's because you are you got that red backpack or whatever. Or maybe because you're a thief. Yep, just keep punting these guys into oblivion. so sad is how few fire types, or how many just few Pokemon there are of any type, except poison, in this game. See, I lost one health. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. It's probably supposed to do a lot more than that. Yowza! Too hot! Use fire Pokemon... Fan... Wait, us! Dumb. There's no E there. Us fire Pokemon fans like Ponyta and Ninetales. You didn't have either of those, did you? You had a uh, Vulpix, at least. Tombstoner? 
Um, kind of makes you think of Rock Tomb. Tomb Stoner. <laughs> 420 Tomb Stone it. Tomb Stoner. It would be great if they made it made a move that was actually called Tomb Stoner. Fire is weak against H2O. Oh my goodness, what is H2O? Your science language is too great for me. Punting puppies. Punting puppies, punting puppies. There we go, finally. Might as well use another one. Yo, Fulger, go get him. Long time no see there, Fulger. And that's all I had. Oh, he snuffed out. Yo. Water beats fire, but fire melts ice Pokemon. All two of them in this game. Two? I think there, there are only two that are actually weak against fire because... Dugong... I, I forget if Seal is also ice. I think it's just water type. And then Lap uh, Lapras is water ice. Dugong is water ice. I hear fireworks. It's weird. Because it's raining out. <sighs> what other... Yeah, yeah, I mean, I said then there's Articuno, who's ice flying. But, so, I mean, that's actually weak against it. Jinx is ice psychic? I don't think there's any pure ice types. But, I mean, still weak against what fire, though. So, Fulgur will pair out in front. And, uh... Yep, Petros... Here we are. He's got his own special thingamajigger. You know, Sprite, that's the word. No more quizzes? Come on, guy. Ha! I am Blaine! I am the leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Ha! You better have burn heal! That's what the guy at the entrance said, too. Come on. Da, da. Hey there, cue ball. Except you're not a cue ball with their cue cod piece. Uh-oh. 48. Scary. And he's gonna be faster than me. Or not. Fulgur's pretty quick. Alright, flamethrower. Ooh-ooh. Can we take out this one? Give me a growl after that flamethrower. Please? Ah, tail whip. Good. That's what I meant. Alright, very good. Now, Rapid Ash. Yes, I will switch out. Petros, get in there. Getting some high levels here. Level 50. My goodness. Hmm. Fly, I'm pretty sure, is stronger than Wing Attack. Let me just... Actually, no, yeah. Super Sonic can stay at the bottom. And we're faster than it, which is wonderful, but Fire Spin is a killer. Ooh. Ooh, not too much. Haha. -ha. I am a greater trainer than you. Nice. Oh, uh, do you have that special Pokemon? No, you don't. You don't have the Pokemon that you have in the gym. In the, in the gym in the game in the show. Arcanine! Don't think we've seen him yet. Where do we see? I guess we never see Magmar. Do we? That kinda sucks. So, yep. Keep flying. 54, though. That's nasty. That's a strong one there. Might not be able to make it with Petros. Reflect. Okay, that's 
physical? No, no, no. We'll see in a second. I think that's physical. Yo, supersonic. Give me gin and tonic. Count how many times I've done that in this game. Quoted Oasis. Ooh. Can I take him out? I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna see if I can take out Arcanine with Petros. Nope. Good try, though, man. Hmm. I'll just go with Tessie. Might as well use at least one water Pokemon fighting the fire gym. And it's over. Hooray! Aha! I have burnt out! You have earned the Volcano Badge! Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokémon. Which, again, I don't think is true. Hey, here. You can have this, too. TM38. Fire Blast. Teach it to Fire-type Pokémon! Charmeleon or Ponyta would be good bets. What a... Do you really not think I'd have a Charizard at this point? Anyway, can I teach it any of my Pokemon? I know I can teach it. I could probably teach it to Flareon. At uh, Octane, but... Let's see. I could teach it to Petros. Yeah, that's what I was planning. Hold on, let me see here. I'm pretty sure... Fly is better than Wing Attack. I'll, I'll look it up, and I'll teach it to him at, in the next part. Fire Blast is the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on water Pokemon. Like, giving it to water Pokemon, or using it against water Pokemon? You're gonna need to clarify that, man. I don't know if any water Pokemon can use it. Whatever. Anyway, so thank you guys very much for joining me. Sorry for not being here for the past three months got distracted and being dumb and stuff. So, rock over London, rock out Chicago. Hey, you got anything to say here, man? You beat the fire brand. Yeah, right, I did. And now, Jerry and Cyrock. Haha. -ha. So, are we the only two people that's ever beaten him? Maybe they reset it every year or something? I don't know. Whatever. Thank you guys very much for joining me. Rock over London, rock on Chicago. I'm Cyrock Omega, and have a nice day. Later.